Hi, this is Cheryl Fisher, Araxis 3 Productions, and today I would like to do a review of Girls Trip, the movie. Recently, I went to see Girls Trip, a comedy at the cinema. First of all, I think it was a great movie, and I am glad to see the female version of the guys' trip. The release date was July 21st, 2017, according to Wikipedia. The main film stars are Regina Hall, Queen Latifah, Tiffany Haddish, Jada Pinkett Smith, Lawrence Tate, Mike Coulter, and Kate Walsh. There were also cameo appearances by other stars. As of this writing, it is well into the season, but a look at DVDs as part of your future collection is appropriate. The story is about four friends who travel to New Orleans for a three-day weekend to reconnect and have a great time as the Flossie Posse and attend a convention that is honoring their friend Ryan, who is a multimedia success. The story unfolds as the four gather together and fly to New Orleans on a Drinks on Us flight hosted by Wild Ride Dina. Dina is a bit much, but throughout the movie, Dina gives it a punch, pushing it to the limit of what it would be like for a woman to lose all her inhibitions, and then some, as men have always been able to explore their limits. Don't get me wrong, as hot-headed Dina was ready to cut Stuart's lion cheating ass with a broken bottle of champagne over a mistaken identity at their swanky five-star hotel. It turned out the person he was speaking to was his Aunt Marion, I believe. They were thrown out of the five-star hotel and had to settle for a cheap motel instead. Dina tried to discredit the hotel before she leaves by saying she was fucked by a ghost. There were so many humor humorous, funny events, but you were able to hold on to a real theme, which centered around a black yaya type sisterhood, a lying, cheating husband, and the strength of women trying to free themselves from the clutches of whatever they are facing. Though many critics have turned the antics as raunchy, which well may be, though I would like to consider that women may be exploring some areas that they have never entertained. Men have always been able to portray whoever and whatever it is they please. The alliance between Lisa, Dina, Sasha, and Ryan was a great one, even though Dina was enough for everyone. The other three of them usually were able to cook up some kind of story to keep things on level. Though many of the critics have called some of the scenes raunchy, they were at the same time very hilarious. Although my memory was not able to hold on to all the scenes, the Jada and Dina zipline pee scene I thought was hilarious, though in real life not so. The big Niagara Falls was unexpected and made it so funny. They explained that a container of water was used for that scene. There was also a scene with the older man, Hobo Bob, a white guy who comes to the door for sex with anything that moved or had a hint of life. He understandably was locked out and surprisingly flashes everything in front of them in an open window and what a surprise it was. The four girls tripping out on an absinthe spike was a highlight. Sasha tripping out and making sexual advances to a nightclub lamp. Lisa suction cupping a huge glass structure while Dina and Ryan trip out in other spaces. They decide to dance it off and get into a racy dance off which ends in a nightclub brawl where Ryan has to make up a quick story to keep them out of hot water. There were so many hilarious spaces, and all I know is it kept me laughing and uplifted my afternoon. After numerous antics of reconnecting and having the time of their lives, they get to the convention center park 
where Ryan finally admits to the audience, audience awaiting her that her husband is having an affair. She wins out anyway and gets the big deal Stuart and she were offered in the beginning for herself. Lisa finds a new love interest and Dina and Ryan, I assume, go on with new outlooks possibly. They all donned their flossy posse jackets and went on. With respect to grading, I would give this four stars and would definitely recommend a purchase of a DVD for your collection. I did wonder if Malcolm D. Lee, the producer, discussed with his female cast how a woman would lose her inhibitions. I enjoyed the movie very, very much even though I felt Dina's character was a bit much. I do feel that Dina gave a punch of let's just lose it, though normally you would never do it. I'm not ready to pass judgment on Dina now, as the black female has sometimes gone through something that no other woman may ever see. This concludes my review of Girls Trip. Thank you.